right, we're back in Pokemoning. We are going to be finishing up the last two gyms. The Missy Elliott gym. I'm gonna ignore her for a second. I'm also not here for love bombing. Like, I'm really big on, you know, gassing your friends up and making sure that, like, they know that they're doing a good job and that you're like telling them that they're cool and all that like i'm here for that i'm not here for love bombing like from someone who's brand new that's like you're the best you're great you can do it you're amazing i i think you're just perfect like i think it comes off as disingenuine from someone you just met and like don't know at all and like that's how i feel about pneumonia some people are just nice people but you're not the only one that can hit hard when it counts so she's saying that i don't matter at all she's just said i was trash drag me, rip my wig off, end me in my career. I almost feel bad, like, knocking out her Pokemon like this. I feel like I'm at a severe advantage having a level 83 Pokemon that I'm going into, like, the last two gyms with. I knew I was right to believe in you. Yes! I'm through. <laughs> is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Now, in order to face gym leader Rhyme, you first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Monte Nevada gym, that means warming up the audience for the main event. Ooh, I'm good at warming people up. Ooh. Your job is to get up on the stage, show us some dead, fierce Pokemon battles, and get the crowd excited before the gym leader's concert begins. Oh, so I'm the foreplay to this gym. What would be my opening song? I would do Oops, I Did It Again. My next song would be This Boy Is A Bottom. And then I would probably wrap up with Only Anally by Willem. You're gonna have me fight a kid? The one, the only, Taz! This doesn't feel good. This poor kid in his little corduroy shorts. Legs out in a snowstorm. Is gonna about to get wrecked by both of my Pokemon. Bye. <sighs> Please tell me they're not sending another kid. The audience is cheering got a little louder. <laughs> they're like, yeah, beat up that kid. Show him who's boss. <laughs> The Montevaneta stage has all the latest tech. The more excited the audience gets, the more the stage will light up. Keep on sledging. Oh my god. Okay, it's a it's a Republican. I feel less bad about this. With the harmony of two Pokemon battling in unison. What are moves that you never use no matter what? Stat boosting moves? I never, ever, ever use. That wasn't harmony. It was a cacophony. I would say it was more of a catastrophe. <laughs> Next is your last opponent, and it's none other than <laughs> me. MC Sledge! Oh. Are we sure that this man's not too blitzed? <laughs> Poison gas? Mm, I'm okay with you not knowing how to fart it up. Wait. MC Sledge really said, I didn't win, so I'm gonna DC. And I'm not having any of this Malma. <laughs> not having a bit of it. <laughs> Self-destruct is so funny <laughs> because it's, it's such a petty final move. It's like, I'm not winning. Fine. Didn't want to win anyway. That was pretty easy. That was a really easy test. I liked that a lot. Come on, everybody. Say it with me. This is what you've all been waiting for. Give it up for MC of R.I.P. Rhyme. Look how fierce she is. Look at her. Yes, ma'am. What's all this noise I'm hearing? The crowd's so loud it could wake the dead. Okay, Auntie said, I'm here to make it clear. She's my favorite one so far. Look at her nails too. They match her eyes. Oh, you got Mimi Q. That hurts my soul. She's fierce, mom. She's so fierce. We don't mess around in Montemarera. On my stage, we do double battle. Don't let it scare ya. Show us an awesome battle, Rhyme. And you too, student kid. <laughs> and you too, I guess. I love double battling so much. It's such a cool thing. She shimmy, she shakes. She says, I wanna know your hips don't lie. <laughs> oh, look at the little baby. It's like, go, dad, go, dad, go, dad. When I'm on the mic, even the dead rise up. DJ G Rave over there is sure feeling it. Oh my God, it's just a baby. <laughs> Yeah. 
pour your soul into a toxicity. Let's bring the power. What happened was Trey didn't like the session, so he had gutted me, but it didn't kill me because I had crystallized and I became a Glamazon bitch ready for the runway. Good night. Bye. Damn. That was a really cool battle with the doubles. That was really fun. And this little doggo up here just getting it, getting down. We kind of ate a little bit. Yes! Not even a photo with her. It's a photo from the audience of her. Not even in the VIP lounge. We don't get to eat some red M&Ms or anything. I'm just living in her world. With seven gym badges, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon of up to level 55. Mm, all right, last one. Ice gym might be a little bit hard, honestly. Oh, you're so cute. Is this the gym leader? Burr, I'm freezing. You're the one that chose to live up in a frozen tundra. My name is Grusha. I'm a snowboarder. Used to be a pro, actually. Now I'm a gym leader. I saw you on the slopes. Your skills? Yeah, they were pretty cool. But don't let that go to your head. Her blue eyeliner is giving me everything that I ever wanted. Winter mountains are dangerous. They can throw your life right off course. Easy as that. So why didn't the snow slopes make me feel that way? Same thing with Pokemon battles. Really, it's always the most dangerous when you're just starting to get the hang of things. Get ready to feel the icy bite of reality. Don't say I didn't warn you. Not my fault if you get overwhelmed. My pumpkin, the Coca-Cola Pokemon. I like that she throws her ball like she's bowling. All right, Coca-Cola Pokemon. I'm just gonna use Water Step on you. Oh, that knocked it out. She was hyping up a big old game. A real big game. Her, her team just got bodied by this little gay bird. <laughs> she's at least still holding on to her own. If she gave me 8k, I could put that into my Roth IRA funds. I guess I can take a photo. With gym badges, you should be able to catch Pokemon of any level. They'll also listen to every word you say, whether it's cool or not. <laughs> not her thinking I'm stupid and lame. Before I forget, you should take this too. A Penduze Kukwavel. You did it. Ah! I'm so happy for you. This is the best. I know I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time. Most impressive, Pendulce. A shining display of talent, I must admit. This string cheese lady's hair is so bothersome to me. Now that you've gathered eight gym badges, all that's left is to take on the Pokemon League. If you hope to stand alongside Pneumonia as a fellow champion, head to the Pokemon League. This is where you can take on the champion assessment. Done. Should I do it? I have the utmost confidence in my abilities. Am I not supposed to be up here? I feel like I'm not supposed to be. I feel like this area is definitely supposed to be off limits. I hear you, Angel. Yes! I'm definitely not supposed to be up there either. Whoa! Is this the Great Crater? What happens if I jump in it? Considering the professor told me not to go in it. But what if I did? We're soaring, flying. Oh. I don't think I was supposed to do that. <laughs> I definitely was not supposed to do that. Okay, well, now we know. Ah, uh, yeah, this is definitely supposed to be like the final battle area. The final test you must pass to become a champion. I wish you the best of luck from the heart of my bottom, Pendulce. I look forward to meeting you again soon. You too. I think I'm not gonna go in there. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna work on my decks. And I think probably next week I'll face the Elite Four and finish up whatever final story stuff is happening. Just so that I can make sure that I go in with the right team that I want to bring in, I think is what I would like to do. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to click that like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Goodbye.